Hey there, what's up you guys? It's me, your boy JD, and welcome back to the channel. And for today, we have a long overdue performance review on these guys right here. This is the 361 degrees man's basketball <laughs> big three. So you know what? Let's get right into it. So alright, so now let's talk about the shoes. So of course we're gonna be we're gonna start talking about the traction first. So as you guys can see here on the traction pattern, you have that diamond thing, thing kind of like pattern. And I have probably gonna be speaking about attraction a lot on this video. So first off, let's get right into my experience with attraction. So I honestly didn't want to make this pair a part of my rotation as much as possible. I, I tried to avoid the pair to use it during shooting around and whatever. But I did want to give you guys, it's like what I mentioned in my IG post, if you guys follow me on IG, I did say that I want to give you guys the best and most honest performance review that I can. So I made it a part of the rotation. So when I did, at first, the first time I tried it out, I didn't really like the traction of the shoe. I was slipping all over the place and to consider the fact that I was playing salabas lang, as in uh, concrete, as in literally outdoors, akali. Consider the fact that it's that kind of cement, so obviously the traction will definitely have a good bite, right? Unless it's dusty, but most of the time it's not. So usually it will have a good bite but at first i was slipping around i was slipping all over the place so i tried to avoid it as much as i can and then when i started putting it as part of my rotation on the second try like halfway through my second try the traction was improving on its own and i was surprised as to like why is it improving so i did mention the uh, initial impressions that there's this layer of paint on top of the outsole. So I was like, maybe that's it. Maybe that's the reason why I was slipping all over the place. That's why I didn't felt like it was biting well enough or good enough for me. And I felt like the shoe was trash. You know, literally, I, I really felt like the shoe was trash, like it wasn't worth the money or anything like that. So when the layer of paint finally came off on the third try, that's when I posted on my IG and I said that this was actually, it improved, it got better, my experience was like way, way better. So in terms of the traction pattern, guys, I think that the traction is really good. The diamond traction pattern really gets you covered, multi-directional coverage. But the thing is, it's not, you know, it, it's not that great, but it's, it's got you covered. It, it's good enough for its price point. So, pwedeng pwedeng na siya. So in terms of durability, as you guys can see here on the clip, I actually thought na they could fray off the traction, the outsole, the rubber, rubber compound was already fraying off. I thought na nasisira na siya. But then when I chipped on it, you know, kinat kut kushana on te, it was just a paint. And in terms of durability, I think the shoe is gonna be a good outdoor option for anyone who's looking for an outdoor shoe. So in terms of traction, I think that this guy's got you covered. I think it performs well as long as that layer of paint is chipped off. So now let's talk about the cushion setup. The cushion setup is something that I really like. It's explosive, it's responsive. At the same time, I do have court feel. And it's something that I recommend for a lot of people. At first, this was the part that I was sketchy about because when I first tried on the shoe, initial try on ko, I did mention that I felt wobbly on the shoe, but then when I started playing on it with it and then I started breaking the foam in, that quick foam is just really, really nice, guys. Like, whatever they used on this thing, it works. As in, I'm not saying that it's as good as Boost, you know, but it is responsive. It's more responsive than I had in mind. So, cushion setup, it's good. So now let's talk about the materials. The materials is something that I kind of don't like. Although breathability, it, it's great. The thing that I don't like is that it pinches on my pinky toe. So the fact that this isn't a super snug fit already and the fact that it still pinches my pinky toe, sin para may gumaganan dun sa pinky toe ko guys, you know. And I've tried different pairs of socks and it's still the same thing. Yeah, that's the only complaint that I have with the materials. But overall, the materials I think is great. That knit is very, very nice. That plastic knit that you have here is also nice, it's breathable. It's, it's, you know, it's flexible. I'll show you guys. It's actually very, very flexible. As you guys can see, see, it has that good flex right there. And that's something that I like as well. So they also got that plastic right here that acts as a lateral counter which is great as well, which is actually termed unturned. Just basically, they just put all the stuff that they want to name on their sneaker. The rubber compound's called tri-grip. The lateral 
plastic here is called unturn the foam is called quick foam you know they just have all these names for whatever technology that they have <laughs> on the sneaker so yeah but let's talk about the fit support and the lockdown for the fit i just suggest you just go through to size because the materials do break in this is a euro 41 size 8 i am a size 8 so just go through to size just convert your us size to euro size and you're good to go in terms of support you're very covered guys you've got the unturn which is great you've got the plastic lateral counter right there you've got an external and internal heel counter which performs very very well and the shoe does have a wide base of support so you've got that and the heel to toe transition is also nice so, and it's something that i really enjoyed walking into like from going to the heel and then exploding to my forefoot i felt really really great and then now talking about this you, you guys also have a torsional plate right there which helps with weight distribution so that our ankles don't get rolled or whatever so in terms of the lockdown kind of had an issue with the lockdown so i needed to double knot the shoe again but once it's double knotted and you yank on the laces you're good to go so my suggestion is just double knot it so it doesn't untie on its own so now that we're done with the fit support and the lockdown let's talk about the aesthetics guys it's a really nice looking shoe i mean up close though like if you look at it up close the materials that they use on the upper does look cheap but from afar that color scheme just looks really great Actually, when my sister saw this, she was like, wow, that's a nice looking shoe. How much did you cop those pair for? Oh, yeah. So aesthetically speaking, I think I like it. This is the best colorway that I can find. I don't like the other colorways. They do have a minion colorway though, but I'm really not into Despicable Me. So not my, not my taste. So yeah. Now that we're done with that, that pretty much takes care of it. That pretty much takes care of the performance review. Is it a bang for your buck? Yes, I think that it is. Especially that the 1212 sale is getting close. I think that the price point, it's definitely gonna go and have a discounted price. So I'll leave a link in the description box below so that you guys can add it to your cart already and just wait for the 1212 sale. And yeah, the 361 degrees last mall is actually very generous, generous with their coupon so just grab one so that on top of the 1212 sale discount you guys can use a coupon to get more discount so i'll just leave a link down in the description box if you guys are interested they have other colorways but i'm not sure if all the colorways are going to be on sale because sometimes goodness sometimes it varies sometimes this colorway is not on sale sometimes this is on sale so yeah so anyways guys that pretty much takes care of it if you guys did like this performance review give us a thumbs up and please subscribe and hit the notification bell share it to your friends share it to your pastor share it to your tricycle driver share it to, to the guy you just randomly met on the basketball court I, I don't know just just share it you know on your facebook you know help us get to 500 likes because i'll be giving away rastaclats okay so help us with that so yeah so do follow us on ig as well and at the same time do like us on facebook we are active there as well so yeah so also by the way i forgot before i forget follow us on spotify my weekly upload is going to be continuing starting this week so yeah so anyways guys that pretty much takes care of it this was your boy jd please stay safe and we'll see you guys next week